Good morning from Walla Walla. Well, I'm here to talk about a serious subject, and that is heavy machines on bad concrete. And um, I have quite a bit of experience with uh, heavy machines on bad concrete. And uh, I'll show you what I'm doing here. Just about everything uh, with heavy machines on <laughs> bad concrete, well, they're not going to stay level um, as well as, you know, if, if they're on good concrete. And um, it, it's really not too horrible bad. I, I did touch it up a little bit. I got, I got the level on these parallels just because it's kind of easier to nest it in. And um, at this time, I'm not going to put the, um, the high precision level on. And um, um, just this level is going to be good enough for, for right now. But um, okay, so we need to raise it up a little bit over here to the left. So we'll get down and dirty. And I'm going to show you some things that... Uh, uh, you can do in hillbilly mode. <laughs> now, uh, up, oh, hang on there. I got this on a boom, and, and uh, this camera is supposed to like self level. So, we're getting down on the floor. I'm gonna get down there. Oh, what do we got here? Yeah, yeah, you can see me. Okay, now this machine, uh, here I am, weighs 5,000 pounds, and um, you, I can lift this corner, I think I'm better right over here, let me try it. Now see if I set that nut here, and this is just a tire iron, okay, I think I got it too close, just an old tire spoon. And um, see, I'll use that for leverage. And uh, get that under there. Pretty good. Okay, that's really not quite good enough. I need to get the, the, uh, the handle more level. So I found a, a number stamp. Okay. Now I can pry it up. With that, I believe, because I can get that handle just a little bit more level. Okay, look at that. See that wedge? Okay, I need to lift this side up. Take a quick look. That was actually too much. <laughs> so, I'm going to lift it a little bit more. And uh, wiggle it out. See where we're at. That's pretty good. It's it left it slightly high, but uh, it the machine seems to be settling this direction, so I'll leave it just slightly high. Now, one of the things I want to point out is that I've got these machines. Here I am. Um, very close together. You can back here. It's just very almost touching uh, an inch away from uh, the cutter grinder, kind of jutting out uh, from an angle. And how I move these machines uh, in close proximity like this is on these steel plates. And I think this one's about a three sixteenths inch. And I got them under three quarters, three corners here. And uh, that back here, I have, I use these washers and all this stuff, these plates, these washers, all that stuff come from the junkyard. But, um, you know, a, a person came in and asked me, how do you move this stuff around? How'd you get this machine in here? Well, um, I got it on a pallet jack and uh, you can get you can get a mill like this through a 48 inch door i guess they were designed sort of like that but we got it on a pallet jack got it in here and i stacked up plates on the corners 
you know, and uh, just high enough to get the pallet jack out. Then use these washers and sort of prying it up on each corner and, and sliding the plates out. And that's how I got the thing down on the ground. Now to move these things, um, I squirt oil on the plates and, um, and then I can uh, push them, push them with like a heavier bar like this. I get it under like that and this floor is real bad so it doesn't matter. So I can sharpen this and so it digs in and I can push the machine over on these um, oiled or grease plates. <laughs> so you know you, you can get by um, without buying expensive moving equipment and uh, I uh, um, I could fabricate uh, that stuff, but uh, as, as uh, infrequent as I move machines, I haven't found it necessary. I can do it this way, or pallet jacks and uh, stuff like that. So I just thought I'd show that, that uh, you can uh, pry up a real heavy machine, which is the simplest things. But you do have to give yourself enough room, see, <laughs> you know, to uh, move the pry to, to do that. But this floor here is like really bad. It's not reinforced. It's got cracks. Um, no, no new cracks are developing here, but I tell you what, this concrete is hard, really hard. Um, there's uh, portions of this I broke, had to break up with a sledgehammer, and it's the hardest concrete I've ever, ever broke up, except for concrete from uh, in some other places that seem to be uh, from the same place. You know, this stuff. Uh, I know that uh, this was my grandfather's house. I know that he, you know, he had them come pour this concrete and he uh, <laughs> leveled it out himself. And uh, I've actually taken and ground this a bit uh, with uh, um, the horrible way with the uh, large angle grinder and the uh, uh, diamond wheel, you know, it is a horrible thing to do. And I had to do it outside a bit to uh, get this mill across the uh, bad concrete uh, outside because there's gaps and there's some cracks and things like that. So I don't know. Uh, I think that uh, there's quite a few people uh, that, that have less than ideal concrete and less, less than ideal buildings uh, uh, like I do, but you can do it, you know. You can uh, you can make this stuff work and uh, and uh, handle these these heavy machines. So what what this uh, um, I'm going to end up moving this machine over to the corner over there. But the jig bore over here, it's sitting on it's a three point. It sits on three points. The mill sits on four, but I've got it sitting on half inch plates that are about. Uh, I don't know, eight by 10 inch and, and whatever shimming I need to do on top of the plates. And it stays, it, it's been there for quite a while and uh, it's, it's pretty stable. But I, I think uh, a sensitive machine like the jig bore and stuff's gonna have to be adjusted, I think, no matter where it is. So, I don't know. It can be done. I'll get back up here. <laughs> Get this on. I'm just going to take this loose. Here we go. Oh, we're back up. Yeah. Okay, I've got quite a bit more to do with the jig bore. I'm going to set it up for some uh, larger holes and um, we'll try some. Um, Try some of that up. That'll be kind of fun. The machine's rated, uh, the jig bore over here is rated, um, I believe, eight inch hole in steel. And uh, I think the largest holes I uh, bored were uh, six inch. But, you know, it's a, pre a precision machine, so you'd be taking very light 
cut uh, getting a very uh, accurate six inch hole. Okay, well, I just thought I'd do this simple video because uh, here uh, someone asked me about this, and uh, here I am uh, leveling the mill. So uh, I, I'm going to finish leveling the mill, then I'm going to uh, uh, make a little cut on it that I got to do. And uh, I'll be back with some more interesting stuff. More interesting than this. Okay, bye-bye.